coming out this afternoon on this special, very special occasion. Just before we kick off, can I remind everybody please to try and keep on the footpaths and not be standing in the road as it is getting dark and the traffic is still coming through. Okay, we're going to have a, as I say, it is a very big occasion today, so I'm just going to do a short speech. Paul is to my left, Martin's brother, who's going to switch them on at the appropriate time. Martin touched the lives of everyone here today in some way or another, be it from being sold your first toy car, a friendly chat, working for him, or selling you the occasional item. It was very touching when he died that so many people, now scattered to the far ends of the earth, commented on these very memories. Martin put these lights up over the shop, which we have managed to reactivate today. And he always said he wanted to install Christmas lights in the high street to cheer us all up. Today is a fitting tribute to him that we have managed to achieve this. It has only been possible, however, through your generous donations, the householders and businesses who have given their permission for the lights to be attached to their premises, and some dedicated members of the Martins Lights Working Group who have put in a lot of hard work. I am sure Martin is looking down on us all today, although I can't quite work out, however, if he is smiling or is, emba is embarrassed by all the fuss. In addition to the lights, the group is still working on a small memorial garden not too far away from where we are today. The garden will have a bench, a plaque and some planting. Unfortunately, it has not been possible to progress this as speedily as we would have liked due to land registry issues. Hopefully, these will be resolved soon though and the garden can go ahead. It seems a long time since the memorial service, but there are still a few DVDs left if anyone wants one. They can be purchased today from near the stage. Don't be surprised, though, if you're asked if you want the bag with them. <laughs> Before I start the countdown on this momentous occasion, I would like to leave you with a thought that was emailed to me yesterday. Martin gave us the light of his friendship, and I hope with these lights we can return the favour both tonight and for many Christmases to come. I am sure you will all agree that sums up not only the lights, but the feelings of us all here today in a nutshell. Anyway, I think I have said enough, as I know Paul is very excited about turning the lights on. So I guess there is only one question to ask, really. Are you ready for the countdown? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Are you ready for the countdown? Yeah. Okay, now, hopefully everything will go fine when Paul presses the button. If not, I think there's a divine intervention from Martin. <laughs> okay, ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give to you Martin's lights in memory of Mr. Puckeridge to cheer your journey through the village and to remember a very special person who is sorely missed. Thank you. There will be some entertainment now around the back of the Crown and Falcon with the Scout Band and Starlight Stars. And then after the entertainment, there will be mulled wine and a hog roast for purchase um, over the back there. So the Scout Band will be on very shortly. <laughs> <laughs>